Fabulous Boston, Massachusetts. I'm driving down. I'm in Connecticut. I broke a few rules driving. Next thing I know, the police pull me over. Goes, what's the story, pal? Why'd you just run that red light? I said, I didn't see you, officer. <laughs> well, what are you, a wise guy? You got a license? Well, of course I have a license. I show him the license. He looks at the license, looks at me. Looks at the license, looks at me, and goes, this doesn't look like you. Well, let me see that. You're right. It's not me. <laughs> Well, you got the wrong guy. <laughs> but seriously, folks, how about that Pope? <laughs> I like the Pope. The Pope's a good guy. A guy tried to kill the Pope. The Pope forgave him. I like that. <laughs> now I guess Reagan ought to get together with Hinckley and play racquetball. <laughs> Reagan, let's invade Grenada. Good. What are you going to take next? Gilligan's Island? <laughs> I saw the guy on television nine months ago talking about the MX missile, talking about how many weapons we have compared to the Russians and how far superior the Russians are to us in terms of nuclear war. Then he told everybody where we're going to put our secret weapon, the MX missile. Gee. <laughs> You think the Russians know it's in Wyoming? <laughs> nah, they don't get cable. <laughs> the crazy Russians and Jimmy Carter. Jimmy Carter had a good idea with the nuclear weapons. We'll get all the nuclear warheads. We'll put them on trains. We'll put them underground the country. Move them around in case of a national emergency. They'll be right there. <laughs> oh yeah, that'll work. <laughs> When the last time Amtrak's been on time. 